In my opinion, the best projector to own for your van is the Nebula Capsule Max. Making money like a man, laying in my eyes like shrimp, making it shine that I'm in, coming with the freshness. So today I'm going to do a quick review of the Nebula Capsule Max and go over why I think it's one of the best projectors to own for your van. Let's start with the build and some specs on this projector. So it's about six inches tall, three inches in diameter and weighs about a pound and a half. Now I've held some of the other options in this class of mini projectors and a lot of them feel just really plasticky and cheap. This thing feels super durable. Like I don't worry about this thing breaking if I'm just storing it wherever I need to store it. If I happen to just throw it on the bed, it's totally fine. The outside is made of this really nice hard plastic. The top has these touch sensitive buttons for adjusting the volume and the menu and the bottom has this nice piece of rubber so it sits really nice even without using the tripod. Speaking of tripods, it has a standard tripod thread on the bottom and they do sell a tripod specifically for the capsule series which I have linked below. It runs for about $45. I purchased the tripod. It works great. I tend to not use it in the van but it is nice to have. Now overall this thing does look a little bit like a Bluetooth speaker which I find appealing. The front has the lens and the camera for the autofocus, which by the way, works really well. You can basically just set this thing anywhere and it'll figure out how it needs to focus. There's also all of these ports and buttons on the back. There's an auxiliary port, HDMI, USB, and then the DC power jack. It also has a power button and the Bluetooth speaker mode button. The projector comes with this nice little remote, which offers all of the basic functions needed to navigate through the menu and adjust the volume. The projector is able to display a max size of 100 inches at 720p, and you don't need a large space to achieve that size. According to the website, the throw ratio is about 100 inches at nine feet. So you can still get a fairly large picture in a small space, which is great for the van. The specs list the brightness at 200 lumens with a lamp life of about 30,000 hours. It supports a ton of audio and video formats. It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and runs on Android 8.1 with a custom Nebula UI. Just to note, it's not running Android TV. However, you can still download apps on the projector such as YouTube, Netflix, and Hulu. So you can stream directly to the projector if you're on Wi-Fi. They also offer an app so you can control the projector from your phone via Bluetooth. So there are a couple reasons why I think this is one of the best projectors to own if you are using it specifically in a van. In my opinion, the best feature that this projector has that others do not in this class of projectors is the keystone correction. The keystone correction is available both vertically and horizontally, which is a game changer when you're dealing with tight spaces. Now, if you're not familiar with what keystone correction is, it's simply the ability to make the image rectangular, even if you're projecting at a weird angle. So most projectors, you need to have the projector directly in front of your screen or wherever your image is going to be. Now with this projector, you can have it off to the side and you still have the ability to correct it. For me, this is huge in our van. I can have the projector sitting on my kitchen counter up against the wall and project towards the cab where our white curtain is and I still have a beautiful looking image directly in the middle. This gives you so much flexibility with how you design your van if you know for sure you want to use a projector. You don't need to build around having the projector directly in front of your screen. The second and other big reason why I think this is one of the best projectors to own if you're traveling is that you're able to use it completely offline in a variety of ways. Like I mentioned earlier, it has both USB and HDMI connectors, so you can basically plug in whatever device you have and still use it offline. You could play movies directly off of a USB stick or portable hard drive. With the HDMI, you can play downloaded movies from your laptop or even your phone, which is what I do. I purchased this Apple Lightning to digital AV adapter, which I have linked below. And with the adapter, I can basically mirror my phone. So for example, with Netflix, you can download movies and TV shows for offline viewing. 
I can then play those on my phone and with the adapter plugged in via HDMI, we can watch on the projector and still get that nice sound from the speaker. This is a feature that should not be overlooked if you are buying a projector specifically for an RV or a van where you know you will be traveling in remote areas without service. The third and final reason why I think this is one of the best projectors to own for the camper van is that it's dual purpose. And when you're dealing with a small space like a van, every inch of storage matters. This is a projector, but also a Bluetooth speaker. So we really like to just chill and listen to music. I figured we would have to have both a projector and a Bluetooth speaker. Turns out we just needed this. So on the back here, there's a button to go into Bluetooth speaker mode. And what that allows you to do is play music via Bluetooth and allows you to have the lamp turned off. The projector has a nice little eight watt speaker and I think it's perfectly acceptable for a small space like a van. Now, if you're trying to fill a large room with a lot of people, it may not be up to your standards, but for this use case, it's perfect. So those are the main reasons why I chose this projector and why I feel like it's the best projector on the market right now to own if you are using it specifically in a van or an RV. Now, just a quick note, there is another version of this called the Capsule 2. The Capsule 2 has some nice features such as Android TV, Chromecast ability, and USB-C charging. However, Keystone Correction is only available vertically and there are a lot of complaints about Netflix and how it's not 100% compatible with that Capsule Max 2. So for those two reasons alone, I don't think it's worth a look. The last thing I wanna talk about is the battery life and power consumption. Now the specs say it should last about an hour and a half at full brightness. I don't know if this is totally true, but I do wanna point out that you do need to charge it with the DC adapter that they give you. You cannot charge it with USB. So for van dwellers, this means that you do need to have your inverter on to charge this. And when I used the kilowatt, it was pulling about 20 watts at 110, which is about 1.5 to 2 amps an hour, which in the grand scheme of things is not a big deal, but it is good to know if you're tracking your power usage. In summary, this is a great little projector for van life. It's really nice that you don't need to mount this so you can use it inside the van, but also bring it outside and really use it wherever you want. I think this is also a great little projector for a smaller apartment or a bedroom if you have limited space. Retail price on this projector is $470 US, which I have linked below on Amazon. And I think last week it was about 375, so just be on the lookout for deals. Now, if you're looking for a Christmas gift for that special van lifer in your life, go pick up the Nebula Capsule Max. If you have any questions or comments about this projector, just leave me a comment below and we'll see you next time. Ooh.